having breakfast. This is what we do every year. It's a tradition. Breakfast is ready to go for tomorrow. Now we are on to dinner for tonight. Table is set and we are using the beautiful roses that Brock gave Kesley as our centerpiece. I'm to ask you guys, what is your favorite tradition of Christmas? Good morning, you guys. Happy Christmas Eve. Today we are heading out. We are gonna go to my sister-in-law's house. We're having breakfast. This is what we do every year. It's a tradition. We've done it on Christmas Eve morning. We get together, everyone brings like a different dish. I'm bringing my egg vegetable casserole. It's got cream cheese. We've got the tomatoes and the zucchini on top. It makes a great Christmas breakfast. In fact, we'll have this again tomorrow because it is our family favorite and my kids love it. They're right here. They're just bacon. Corey has been hard at work down here. Look at that. Doesn't that, don't that look amazing? I wish you could see them. Really good. And I wish you could smell it because it smells so good. That is what we are doing right now. And then we'll just come home after we have our breakfast. We'll just come home and just hang out and then we'll start our Christmas dinner. What are you guys we'll, gonna watch tonight? Yeah, that's it. Should we watch the star? We're for sure gonna watch the star. The star? Oh. But which Christmas it's movie? Story of Christ. I'd say we watch the Christmas Chronicles too because we haven't seen Oh that. yeah, we haven't seen the Christmas oh, Chronicles yeah. too. You can see that one. Can I? Have one little square. One square. I cut them. Reese is such a little help, you guys. I'm tell I was telling Corey this morning, so we went to the gym because our Delicious. Christmas party Mom, was you show them the this basement morning. so far. Okay, right. we're gonna show you guys the basement. We'll give you a little tour <laughs> of the basement, you guys. I know you're dying to see it. This right here is no longer. There. The door so, was about like right Yeah, here. there was a door here before, it's gone. The floor is in. The walls are painted. Done, Look at that. Be a bit heavy. Yeah, it, until we get our furniture in here. They actually just cleaned up yesterday, took all the paint, everything's done. It's done being painted as far as that goes. We still have to get our kitchenette. We're getting our cabinets and everything. We're gonna get some built ins here with our projector screen, so it's super echoey down here right now, but we were hoping to have it done by Christmas, but it's not. Still have to get our bathroom done. Probably be done, I'm thinking within, for like for sure within the next two weeks, by the time they get the cabinets in, the backsplash, the tile, and all that jazz over here. So probably two, maybe three weeks. Here's just an extra room right here. I think I might actually make this like a very small gym. It's gonna, gonna be like my treadmill, like a few weights. Yeah, and then here is a little closet all done. I love that it's all painted, you guys. The, electri the electrician needs to come oh, and like finalize everything. I know, because we need to get the vents put on. It's seriously so nice. And then just a little closet underneath the stairs, like at our old house. And then here, I don't have a light to show you because it's not working yet, but we got it some. It goes deep down. Yeah, it goes way back. It's got some built-ins here, finally. I love this. It's gonna be so great to be able to store everything. I don't know. I don't know how much light I'm gonna be able to get. Okay, so there you go. You can kind of see it. And then her treadmill's still in here, but here is Kesley's bedroom. It's gonna be so like fun once we get everything. We can actually start probably moving Kesley down here like now because every well except we don't have like her racks and stuff for the the closet yet. But most of the stuff like we could honestly move her in right now if we really wanted to. I think. Maybe next week. So yeah, yeah, the bed will hang out there. So yeah, we'll let you guys know. We'll keep you updated on all that. But there's just a little update on the basement. Obviously, you can see it needs to be cleaned. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. This will be such a great space to entertain a lot of teenagers that we have here on a daily basis. Ladies, he's mine. <laughs> no, but seriously, no, Corey has been so great. Look, you guys, he's made these. And he's been so awesome about like just doing it. Like he's helped so much. So thank you so much, Corey. He doesn't even ask for help, he just does it himself. I know, he's such, he's mm -hmm. such a good husband. We just got back from my sister-in-law's house. Grandpa was there and he brought them all. Hundred dollars! Gave them all a card and it had a hundred dollars in it. Now, now Perry's like, I have two hundred dollars from Grandpa. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, oh, you guys all got some money. Christmas. Check this out, this is the hand molding. Kesley and Brock did yesterday. Yep. So she, now she's gonna sand it a little bit. It's kind of cool, like your love ring totally went and worked. The love ring that she, she has, says love on it. It's cool. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. 
Oh it looks really cool. I'm here to show you how to make the Christmas casserole. I just call them a Christmas casserole because everybody knows what I'm talking about. It has the vegetables, the zucchini, the tomato, and the cream cheese, which makes it kind of like red, green, and white Christmassy. Super easy to make. You will need a nine by 13 pan, like just regular pot. And then you need one of these too, another bowl. So we're gonna do 12 eggs. Then I do Southern style hash browns, or you can just do like regular, like really honestly, like shredded potatoes. We did shredded potatoes today. I usually do the Southern style just because it adds a little more flavor to it. But I'm doing the shredded hash browns today and you're gonna do two cups of that. So 12 eggs, two cups of hash browns. You're gonna take two fourths of chopped green onion and toss it in there. You need a teaspoon of salt. And then you're gonna do two fourths teaspoon of the basil leaf. You are going to um, mix it. It's all mixed, it should look like this. And then in a separate pot, you should melt on your stove. You need to have, it's gonna be eight ounces of cream cheese. You're gonna do two of those. And then you're gonna do four tablespoons of butter. So basically like a half a cube. And then you are doing two fourths milk and you um, put that on the stove, let it melt, and then you will combine the two ingredients. Once the cream cheese is melted, you're going to add it to your eggs, and then you're gonna put it in your um, pan and you're gonna let it sit overnight. And if you want to, you can cut up your vegetables and have that ready to go for tomorrow. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cook the mixture in the morning on 350 for 25 minutes. Take it out, then you're going to put on as much as you desire as far as zucchini and tomatoes. So we always shred our zucchini and then we dice our tomatoes and then we dice up some um, cream cheese. We do another eight ounce packet of cream cheese. Put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. So that is how you make the meal. There is the recipe. I'll put it down below too so you guys can make it. Um, hopefully, I know by the time you guys see this, it's gonna be Christmas morning and so, but you can always make it like a day after. So anyway, there you go. Cover it, stick it in your refrigerator and then in the morning, all you have to do is just get up let it cook and enjoy Christmas with your family. I'm gonna actually chop this up right now so I don't have to do it tomorrow morning. So the zucchini is all ready, ready to go and we just are doing the um, tomatoes. Reese is doing a great job, you guys. I got this off Amazon and it has been heaven sent. It has cut the time in half for all of your vegetables or potatoes or anything. It's amazing, look at that, perfectly diced. Breakfast is ready to go for tomorrow. Now we are on to dinner for tonight. So we are doing some yummy rolls and we're trying to get them to rise. Little secret guys. Little secret right here. So hot, 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 hot water. water. And then you just let it sit in your oven and then it, like it makes these so they rise a little bit. We put some Parmesan cheese on top and a little bit of garlic salt and some butter. And yeah, that's our Secret rolls. And then Reese is over here helping peel potatoes for tonight. Look how much it peels. I know, it's a good this peeler. This Amazon. Yeah, that is true. Amazon. Okay, this, like I told you guys, my whole kit, care be really careful, Reese, because I want you to cut your finger. It's in our so, Amazon store, right? Yeah, it's in our Amazon store, guys, so check out the link if you want to. Like I said, it comes with a whole bunch of different gadgets. It's really cool. In the description. And it's only 28 bucks, and it has, it, it has changed our lives. This pillar was awesome. Super sharp, though. Perry is helping me set the table. And we are using my china from our wedding. This is what we used for Thanksgiving. So if you guys saw that video, this is what we used for Thanksgiving. I'm teaching Perry how to, to set the silver. Thank you, Perry. Dun, da, 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 da. Now we gotta get the napkins. Get the napkin rings out. And then I'm gonna get a little centerpiece right here on the table too. The table is set and we are using the beautiful roses that Brock gave Kesley as our centerpiece. So thanks Brock. Looks so pretty. This is what I was talking about. Look at that. There's like no effort. Bam. Done. Done. Yeah. Look at those. Are you serious? It's the best thing ever. That was four potatoes in about 15 <laughs> seconds. The best. I feel like all we've been doing is showing what we're cooking today, but this is all tradition and we're gonna show you. I know a lot of you have had questions about how we make our potatoes in our crock pot. So, here you go. You get about five pounds of potatoes, 
You put it in your crock pot, fill it up with water, and get two chicken bouillons, and you let it just cook, okay? And once it's nice and soft, you get your masher, and you mash them. And then we'll just tell you how we do the rest as we go. So once that's all mashed, you add your half a cup of salted butter, and then you put a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and then you do 16 ounces of sour cream, of course you're in the pepper, and then you do two cups of shredded cheese, and we will just set that on top, and then you put green onion and we'll set that on top. So once we added all the ingredients, we mixed it all together, and then we smoothed it out, and then we're gonna layer it with some cheese on top, and then we're gonna cover it again, and it's gonna be covered for another 20 minutes. And then you can, if you want to, add some bacon or some more green onion, but we're just gonna do some cheese on top. Reese has her little special gift here, and she's gonna go have Kesley drive her to go take it to the boy she likes, because he gave her something, and so she's gonna give him something back. And if you watched yesterday's video, she showed what she gave him. Go she take the present. She does not have dad's approval. Okay. <laughs> you hear that? Yep. It's getting darker outside. It is now six o'clock. We are starting our Christmas Eve. We are actually doing things a little bit backwards this year because our um, ham is not done. We're gonna watch The King is Born. It's a Bible animation of the birth of Christ. It like came out a long time ago. Like I watched it growing up. And then hopefully we'll eat. The kids are asking me to open up their pajamas and eat in their pajamas. <laughs> so we're talking about our big presents because we know each other, but we don't know ourselves. Oh, and yes. goes, you so have the good. best one. I, I was like, what? I just, like, I want to know so bad. And I was like, yeah, I know you, Rosie. I want to know. Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. Tomorrow, Kesley, tomorrow. Oh, do you guys want to do the pajamas now? Yes. Which is mine? Right. All right. Kesley's the that? green. Oh. We each have a color. Rhett's the black. Whoa. Reese's the white. Oh, oh I love it. And Harry's the red. Okay. Kesley first. Christmas pajamas. I like these. Fill them. They're like real nice sweats. Okay, okay I'm actually so excited. So these cute, are so those are her so pajamas. Cute. Brett, you are next. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> cute. Sweatpants and a nice like t-shirt, Rhett. I, like I know, it's because he loves sweatpants. He'll wear those every day. Aren't those cute? Good pop is so cute. Isn't that fun? Whoa, wow. look at you all in your Christmas getup. Actually, what's funny about it is they were supposed to be opposites. Reese had these pants and Perry had, was it those pants? They were actually, which, which is funny because they it's were, small, isn't it? but that's how they came, it was so weird. So anyway, it looks so like these ones fit better, but you know what, that way you guys aren't twinning. So it's a win-win, right? Yeah. Oh, you guys, we're glazing our, our ham. It is over. We just watched the is born and now we've got 10 more minutes and we can finally eat we're all so hungry <laughs> while we're waiting for the ham the kids are over here <laughs> shaking yeah, their presents you know usually you guys we don't have all the like all the presents sitting out until the morning on christmas but this year we had them all sitting out tonight and now my kids are going through them so reds all reds or perries okay so listen to this i didn't tell my kids who like we didn't write names on any of the presents we wrapped our kids in specific wrapping so that is how we did it this year kesley and red are over here like discussing their presents and how excited they are to open and red knows what kesley's getting and kesley knows what red's getting and now you guys can just wait until tomorrow Dinner was a success. You guys, it was awesome. So now we're gonna clean up and we're gonna get some hot chocolate and watch a Christmas movie. We're trying to decide because usually we've watched Polar Express for years and years and years. I think we're gonna do something different this year. 
So we were thinking either Christmas Chronicles 2, because we haven't seen it yet, or Christmas with the Cranks, because it's just a classic. My kids liked Christmas with the Cranks. Or the Star. But I think, are we thinking Christmas Chronicles 2? Yeah, because it's a new movie. We haven't seen it yet. Okay, we have not seen that, so I think we're gonna do that this year, and then we're gonna have some hot chocolate. Yeah. And you guys, we were gonna make cookies. <laughs> we are we are winning, Corey. We were gonna make cookies, but I think we'll just do that tomorrow on Christmas Day and make some cookies or something like that and just kinda hang out at home. So we're not gonna do cookies tonight, but we're gonna do hot chocolate and marshmallows and all that stuff. So we're gonna do that. To ask you guys, what is your favorite tradition of Christmas? Mine is um, when we open our PJs. Christmas and pajamas. Christmas Eve, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. What about you, Rhett? I like the hot cocoa and I like all the food. Yeah, what about you, Perry? Um, I like the same thing as Reese because I like um, Getting... seeing what pajamas we actually get. I know, they're fun, know. huh? I know, it's kind of fun, huh? What about you, Kess? I like waking up super early. On Christmas? <laughs> Yeah, Kessie does. She wakes up super early and comes downstairs. She gets all the kids up. She's done that for it's years. so funny. And she, they go through their stockings and you can hear them and they're laughing and da da da. It's gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna get ready to watch our movie. And you guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. As soon as the movie's over, we're gonna put them to bed so that Santa can come. Yay. And we're gonna go to bed. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye. bye.